Hi guys, welcome to the channel. General love reading for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 2020. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, opening theme for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for October 2020. Let's see what we can get for you guys. right so adjustments are required and you and your loved ones are safe this can be the result that some of you may achieve because you are able to implement some even small adjustment in a particular situation you know or maybe others of you have the desire to make um, some change, you know, in order to embrace a, a more peaceful situation around you, you know, that may involve uh, even your loved ones. So maybe a little bit of uh, attention can work in your favor in order to recognize what may need to be uh, changed a little bit or maybe you have already recognized um, what you need and there is the calling to put in the effort in a practical way let's see what the tarot has to say about this combination for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, October 2020. All right, Death Energy, so a transformation, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, so the person in the first row has overcome an ending nine of cups two of swords two cards the hermit the moon the fool page of pentacles ten of pentacles bottom of the deck this is something guys that uh, you may you may have the chance to unlock as a potential outcome for this situation and uh this is uh, something that with the right mindset and the right approach can uh, truly offer a meaningful satisfaction so guys first row of energies usually uh, your person of interest the person that you are dealing with feel free to pick your side if you feel that the reading is going to resonate in the reverse as I was saying a couple of moments ago, this person has embraced a um, major ending in their life, a chapter that was um, due to be left in the past, Three of Swords. This is a challenging energy, of course, uh, sadness, regrets, disappointments, heartaches, you know. So maybe they have left behind a previous connection that... Um, was not um, a source of satisfaction it turned out to be uh, very different from their expectations they have embraced the revolution death energy i personally love the death card because it is an opportunity you know to uh, sweep away all the leftovers from the past in order to leave an open field on an energy level and uh, be able to manifest new things more aligned with wishes and desires this is also an inner process maybe this person has recognized that the situation that they were involved with uh, was not uh, meant for them uh, they may have learned this lesson the hard way still the beautiful nine of pentacles energy that um, as we know is a single energy is encouraging because there is self-confidence in the nine of pentacles this beautiful lady uh, is the primary source of her own satisfaction she can 
take care of herself she can provide for whatever uh, thing she may need and she doesn't have any kind of interest for codependent connections or whatsoever you know at the same time she is independent uh, yes but she is open to the opportunity of meeting a special person you know someone that can match her frequencies her aspirations someone that can be as i usually say a fair companion for the journey and this can be quite a transformation for them for this person in the first row because they were brave enough to realize that maybe adjustments were uh, required in order for them to achieve different outcomes from those that uh, they may have collected in their past you know so this is quite a an inner process aimed at the best possible growth for this person so they are moving towards their single status others uh, are already single so the transformation has taken place second row of energies guys usually you watching heart of the reading two of swords this is a crossroads energy extremely interesting i want to say because it comes with uh, two very precise feelings the first one is that some of you may have decided in a meaningful way to uh, not be available for different connections because you have decided that you want to be with the person in the first row the single one or the one that is uh, moving towards their singlehood you know so this closed posture in the two of swords very well thought for some of you is the decision to refuse others connection that are not the person in the first row you know and at the same time because there is the moon in the background and so there is depth granted in favor of the evaluation the hermit is even more powerful you know because it is about the awareness that you may have been able to um, recognize about the connection we have the star in the hermit's lantern you know and we have the nine of cups wish granted this can be about some of you guys that um, have truly got the clarity about how important the connection with the person in the first row can be for you a meaningful one a chance to show how you have grown in your own journey you know achieving wisdom achieving clarity achieving a deeper understanding about what truly matters and i love to see the moon in the meeting of the energies because i feel that this energy is related to the moon that is involved in your heart uh, position energy this is a well thought decision you know in order to recognize the opportunity to be with the person in the first row so a touch of awareness about the connection and a touch of uh, being closed off towards uh, other potential suitors you know that uh, may uh, try to uh, catch your attention you know meeting of the energies guys the moon the full page of pentacles now the page of pentacles is the first energy that i want to address because this can be the fresh sincere and honest approach that some of you may be able to display in favor of this person because the page of pentacles it is the um, first energy in order to move towards knights queens and 
king's vibration, you know? But at the same time, this meaningful pentacle that the page is holding in his hands can be the kind of um, offer, the kind of uh, communication, the kind of approach towards life that may be extremely interesting for this beautiful and lovely Nine of Pentacles energy, you know? This can be the approach that the person in the first row may have looked for in previous chapters of their journey. They couldn't find these kind of lovely um, interactions. And because you are extremely wise and you may truly desire to be with the person in the first row, you may be able to recognize that even a small patient approach can go a long way. The moon is about something that may still be kept secret, hidden, not yet revealed, especially for um, those of you guys that uh, may know that the other person, the person in the first row, is still going through the revolution offered by the death energy and they are moving towards their single status. So this page is kept still under the veil of secrecy that we can find in the moon. At the same time, the moon, the moon can work as an amplifier for this moon in the background in the Two of Swords, the meaningful decision about what to do in order to fulfill the desire to be with the person in the first row. You know, the full leap of faith, waiting to be uh, embraced, I want to say. We know that uh, the fool is ready to embark on a new journey. He cannot wait to learn meaningful things that can be extremely helpful for his journey. You know, there is a fresh energy, a new beginning that can be auspicious. And I love to see the hermit with the fool because, especially for those of you that may resonate, there is a fresh approach, but this is a full, full of wisdom, you know, and this can be extremely um, positive and auspicious in favor of the connection. So, guys, let's find out a little bit more about a couple of energies on the table. I will go for the um, death energy because the Three of Swords um, is, uh, of course, clear by itself, meaning that a disappointment ending um, has come to play for the person in the first row. Let's go and find out a little bit about the inner process, this revolution that they were called to uh, embrace. That can be a source for uh, adjustments. Two of Cups, a decision uh, made about love, basically. They couldn't fulfill their heart in a previous situation. The transformation will make uh, possible for them to pursue Two of Cups energy, soulmate energy, a deep love, a love that is fair, respectful, that can bring um, honor and uh, support for those involved, you know. Uh, the chance to grow together with a special person that can uh, teach meaningful lessons and also uh, be open to learn from the other person. So this is truly a revolution in the name of love for the person that may be already single or is moving towards the single status. Now, let's see the Two of Swords, this crossroads energy, about uh, what some of you guys are called to do uh, dealing with other uh, potential suitors and also a decision about the meaningful connection that you may have 
five of cups so this is an energy about past disappointments you know regrets something that didn't go according to expectations this may be true even for some of you because the hermit is also a single energy so you may have you may have experienced disappointments in love connections in previous chapters of your journey um, the point with the five of cups is that the figure is looking at the three cups spilled on the ground but um, without paying attention to the two of cups behind the back you know so it is possible yes that some of you may have closed yourself off a little bit more in order to avoid disappointments but this is like something that can be put in the past you know then the hermit energy has come to play in your favor offering you wisdom clarity awareness and then you have embraced the meaningful decision energy that we can find also in the two of swords especially if you know the person in the first row maybe they were committed you were single before them and you have decided to not wait for them because it's not about putting a uh, our life uh, on hold um, but you know what uh, when you think that a person can be the um, ideal companion for you if that person is not available you will look for someone that can uh, present the same traits you know the same virtues the same qualities and this is the point because you have recognized some wish for you with the opportunity of dealing with the person in the first row or someone like them you know all right i was going for the moon we have a flyer and i will pull another one all right here we go two flyers so five of pentacles we are not talking and the knight of cups but we will so guys pretty straightforward about the moon um something kept hidden and secret of course uh five of pentacles the general meaning about uh, lacking communication yes feeling left out in the cold um let's say that we have the opportunity to um be patient a little bit because we are not talking as we may desire with this five of pentacles energy that's why the secrets um, offered by the moon are involved in the mix especially if this person is uh, tying um, loose ends in order to be single you know the communication may be um, a little bit put on hold but with the knight of cups a romantic gesture is pending for some of you this is the chance to extend a love offer for others of you is the opportunity to receive it depending on the circumstances but the knight of cups is someone extremely in touch with his art someone that follows what his art uh, tells him to do for this very reason he is very comfortable when it comes to offer meaningful cup of feelings and love in favor of a special someone this is some kind of recurrent uh, message because um i feel that you know each other for whatever reason maybe your paths were different but there is some kind of major change offered with the death energy that can uh, bring in the opportunity to interact and to uh, take a leap of faith together that can be even a source of um warm feelings you and your loved ones are safe can be an energy about the fact that you 
and this person together can make each other feel safe you know this is a lovely touch to the reading because it can also be an opportunity to heal past wounds five of cups three of swords there is a wisdom that can work in favor uh, of the connection and the desire especially uh, expressed with the combination two of cups and death energy for a complete transformation a complete turnaround that is based on love can be also because the person in the first row may have recognized um, that you are ideal for them also and this can make you extremely happy and you can't wait to uh, embrace the leap so be patient if the communication is not flowing as you may desire the token lovely with the page of pentacles will even uh, gain substance in the love arena in the romantic arena with the knight of cups this is a uh, word energy bottom of the deck this is a matter of time and cycles yes i was saying so uh, quite a confirmation guys this is a lovely spread um i will leave it at that i hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below uh, if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye